All right, Scout Rods fans, we're back. Give me a little update on these gauges from Dakota Digital for the 57 Bel Air. Uh, right there, what you're looking at is the original uh, temperature gauge and fuel gauge, along with the original uh, speedometer bezel. And then we have the speedometer here, uh, which are all in excellent shape. The customer, if he ever wants to put this thing back to stock, he can put it back to stock with no problems. Um, or he can sell it. If somebody's out there looking for uh, factory gauges, that's what they're looking for and they're in excellent shape. So anyways, on to the Dakota Digital. Uh, as you can see, that's the, the new oil pressure gauge. Then we have the speedometer, the tachometer, the fuel and the voltage gauge all in the center. And then we have the temperature gauge, nice quality. Uh, this is the second Dakota digital kit we've installed here and super product. Great quality, comes with everything you need to do the job. Um, highly recommend them for a good price for a great product. Comes with everything you need to get the job done. So. Uh, look them up if you're in the market for some new gauges. They'll treat you right. And can't say enough about it. Alright everybody. Jeff, Scott Rods. Working on this 57 Bel Air. Installing the Dakota Digital Gauges. Uh, what you're looking at is a label maker. Comes in very handy when you're trying to do wiring in these old vehicles. Uh, there's so many old, or so many wires in them. Um, Especially if you don't work on them a lot, you're not real familiar with what wire goes where just by looking at it. So, recommend getting you one of these if you're working on your cars at the house or a car you just bought and you're not too sure of the wiring. Pick up one of these. It's a lifesaver. As you can see, I've got all the uh, wires from the instrument cluster tagged and labeled. That way I know which wires I need and if the customer ever wanted to put the original gauges back in it, all he has to do is just put the label in the corresponding hole in the instrument cluster. So just a little tip, keep watching, and we'll show you more.